Hey everyone, Coach Sullivan here again with MGS Coaching Football. To those of you who have subscribed to my channel, I thank you. And to those who haven't yet, I hope you do. I just completed my 38th year coaching football. I was a defensive coordinator, but over that time, I've also been an offensive coordinator, a special teams coordinator. I've been a head coach <clears throat> at both the collegiate and high school levels. Today, in this presentation, what I want to talk to you about is our three four match quarters variation we call gray three versus florida which is the smash concept okay so i call it florida out of respect to coach steve spurry who while at florida starting in 1989 he developed this smash concept so out of deference and respect to him since i believe all pretty much all even triple option teams might even run the smash concept uh, I call it Florida. Okay, so how do we defend the smash concept, two-man route concept, out of our gray three match quarters variation, all right? So our gray three rules versus the smash concept, okay? So smash concept number two is going to be vertical, okay? The corners, and please remember that gray three is nine-on-nine nine football. Right? So for us, right, number ones in the corners, they're not there. All right, but I'm going to keep them there for now because I'll bring in the technique and whatnot. Okay? So everybody understands that. We're going to play from an off man so I can teach the technique. We can also play it from a press man. These are all other. Um, presentations that being press I'm not going to get into a whole lot of technique again other presentations so our corners are going to play off man they cut number one's hitch okay boom done the outside linebackers with number two's vertical still running back two, fine work but in gray three and this might be the reason why you decide to run it they're in combo on the running back with the inside linebacker Okay, so I'll bring that in. That's actually a big part of the presentation today. Okay, the way you can combo the running back with your outside inside linebacker is here out of gray three. And that's when number two's vertical, so it's not just the smash concept. The inside linebacker is, again, two vertical. That's running back two or mirror the cue, but the, again, they're in combo with the outside. Linebacker. So I'm going to bring that in. I'm going to give you both scenarios where the outside linebacker would take the running back and the inside linebacker would take the running back. Okay, and that's assuming running back two. And then our safeties with number two's vertical and gray three, it's man over 10, right? So there's no difference there except versus the smash concept in gray three, there's no help underneath. Right, the cornerback's not going to sink under. So, how does that impact the technique of the safety? It's not a major impact, but it's an impact. Okay, so in this presentation, the offense will be in the black, the defense in the red. All right, so smash concept. Right, and as always, sorry, it's an 11 gun Dallas. So, we show you the outside linebacker versus a tight end and a detached outside linebacker when two is removed. So, we get both. Okay, number one, gonna run that hitch. Okay, again, it's usually not a very deep hitch. So, it doesn't screw up the uh, coordination with the corner route, right? Number two. Typically runs a corner route with the cut at 10 plus yards. I mean, it doesn't have to be down the goal line. That can vary as you lose field space, right? But for here, we'll say the break, the cut for the corner is at 10 plus. Okay, so in other words, as he gets to the top of the route. So there is the offense. Protection, I'm not going to spend a lot of time, but whenever the quarterback's in the gun, you're not likely to get cut. So we'll say that the surface, and remember, everything starts with the surface. The surface, the offensive line, right? Both guards, both tackles in the center. They're probably hard setting right on the line of scrimmage with the high hat, okay? Quarterback, heels could be at four or five, probably not much deeper. 
probably not a lot closer. So we found it's either a four or five. And I have the quarter, the uh, excuse me, the, the halfback and pistol behind the quarterback on purpose. Okay. And when I get to comboing the running back, I'll bring in color blue to show you the different okay routes to, that we're looking to combo. All right. So start with the corners and then we're done with the corners. Their normal alignment, one by seven Oscar, our alignment side to sky. So the guy in the press box, the quarterback, everybody says, okay, it's the same old, same old. Snap of the ball. So remember, cornerbacks on the snap, both of them. Stem remove, inside leverage. Again, I'm not going to get into the technique. But now they playing their man number one when they read. The hitch, they cut the hitch, which means they go in front of the hitch, cutting the quarterback and the receiver. They take a route in front of the hitch. So if I'm the receiver, the quarter, the cornerback is cutting in front of my face, okay? And they have to be alert for a double move because they won't have any help behind them. Again, another presentation. So as they cut, they must be alert potentially for a double move. They don't necessarily know it's going to be the smash concept, Florida. That's why. Okay? All right, so that takes care of the corners, and that takes care of the hitch. Remember, this is nine on nine, so these guys aren't even there. So how do we defend two's vertical and combo the running back, right? So now let's get to the outside linebackers. Okay, they read surface to two. They do not expand to one. Here's a huge difference. Okay, as they read number two, in grade four, it's surface to two, but they're expanding out to one immediately. Now, all of a sudden, they're just sitting there. Okay, so... They sit and they look and they read, and then soon as number two clears them, their eyes go back to the running back. So it's kind of surface, bang, two. As soon as they not just, you know, literally runs by him, but as he's sprinting up the field, you can tell by the speed, okay, as soon as he's pretty confident he's going to go with 10, he pivots back and now gets his eyes to the queue. Okay, that's the detached outside linebacker. Attached always starts with knock back the tight end. Boom, 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 right? He doesn't get his eyes to surface. His visual pressure keys that tight end. So he'll hear a pass and the tight end doing everything he can to get away because he's primary in this concept. Okay, as soon as the ships turn, boom, he's going to do the same. He's not expanding to one, but right from here, he's going to get... <clears throat> His eyes here, and again, as he's um, turning and reading here on number two, he sees that he's pretty confident he's full speed going there. He, too, pivots back now, gets eyes to cue. So both of these guys, watch there, too. Watch there, too. Then pivot back and get the eyes to the running back. Okay? So in the case of running back two, the running back route that would apply to the outside linebacker, I'm going to put in the black. Okay. Any pass route by the running back to the outside linebacker in gray three has to be a route that's outside the tackle. So that would be a flare route. That would be some kind of a flat route, right, which isn't likely with the hitch there. But you follow what I'm trying to say? Okay. So in this particular concept, potentially it's a flare or he's in protection and then he check releases. That's outside the tackle. That now becomes... The outside linebacker. So in combo, okay, he takes running back route outside 
the tackle. Okay, that's his portion of the combo. Same over here. So if he were to flare this way or check release this way, the detached outside linebacker would go take him outside the tackle. Okay? If that doesn't happen, meaning back goes away, now you find work, which is read the quarterback, hit on a swivel, see if he got somebody coming across the field from the other side of the field. We call it backside crosser. Same thing here. If the running back goes away, okay, find work. Look, what? read the quarterback indicator. Is he looking here? Is there somebody coming across? Right? Find work. Means head on a swivel. Two work. Find work. Hey, find work. Whoop. And it starts with a look at the indicator of the quarterback, front elbow. All right? So that takes care of the outside linebackers. I'm going to go to the same. I'm going to go to, excuse me, inside linebackers now because of that combo. All right? So inside linebackers. If I'm the inside linebacker on the left, I'm going to take the step. I'm going to pivot. I'm going to get my eyes to two. Patient, I see he's racing full speed. I pivot back, right? Get my eyes to the running back. Now, using the blue, routes of the running back that would apply to the inside linebacker are going to be routes that are break inside the tackle. So it could be inside out that way protection screen okay any routes that break inside now outside linebacker takes the routes that break outside inside linebacker takes running back routes inside the tackle okay so that typically would involve he's kind of a sift maybe he's going to run <clears throat> excuse me a route he's going to read and react and go opposite who knows right if he fits in protection well then it's key rush that's automatic that doesn't change so if he's just sitting in there and he's reading inside linebacker and outside, meaning the running back, and he's in the protection, well, now the inside linebacker adds to the rush still. It's a key rush. And running back goes away, so I'm only going to draw it this way. Then the other inside linebacker, right, running back too, or mirror the cue, right? So the, the routes that are on the inside, usually like that option route, like I was just saying, he's going to read and go opposite the linebacker, or he's going to sift in, and then he's going to break outside, try and run away from the inside linebacker. Okay? There's a chance for that. Now, the last route, I don't spend a lot of time on this, but this would be a reason why you might run grade three, besides you get great corners, you're taking it away. Okay? Is if... And this get kind of messy quick. If, and then I'll get back to the safeties. If the running back runs what they call that angle route, so it starts outside the tackle, but then purposely breaks inside, right? Then as the... Outside linebacker starts to take it, and he breaks on the angle. He just makes that call, angle, angle, angle. Because as this is happening, the inside linebacker is going to keep his eyes on it until he's clearly outside the tackle, and he's been taken by the outside linebacker. On this angle route, you've got both guys there so that the running back is negated quite often. They, they run any type of a, of a concept. But the whole point of the play is to get the ball to the running back on that angle route. Okay, so that's how we would handle that. So last and certainly not least, the safeties, okay, they're going to 
And again, I apologize. This got pretty messy real quick. Right now, we get the routes back. Okay. The two safeties, now I get back to the red. Their rules are simple. They're zit stepping at 12. Their red surface is past. Our eyes are on two. Here comes two to them, right? Man over 10. Now they understand. Okay, when that route breaks, they got to close the distance right now. Get on that upfield shoulder, striking distance. Plant and drive, even from depth. Plant and drive, upfield shoulder. Immediately, because you have no underneath help. The corner's not sinking, right? Baiting and sink. That's all done. That's all gone. So walk pedal, walk pedal, plant and drive on the upfield shoulder. Walk pedal, walk pedal, plant and drive on the upfield shoulder. Because right? if you got a pretty heady quarterback and he sees that, he might stick it, especially if he's got a strong arm. He may stick it and lead number two to the throw. And you don't have to be Tom Brady to do that. There's plenty of quarterbacks that are capable of doing that at all levels. Okay, so the walk pedal... Plant and drive on that upfield shoulder. That's got to happen immediately because, again, there is no help. Corn is gone. He's cutting the hitch of one. Okay? So these are the tweaks and the reasons why you might decide to play gray three, all right, versus the smash concept. Personally, I got good enough corners to play it. I got great safeties against this against the quarterback that can stick it. Or I run it because we're facing a quarterback who can't read it or can't stick it, right? And now it gives me the ability against a quarterback like that, they'd be more likely to throw it to a running back. And now I got the combo on the running back. You follow me? So these are all parts of the thought process that goes into why would you call gray three instead of your base gray four, okay? So as always, thank you to the people who have subscribed, to those who haven't. I hope you do. To everyone, any questions, please reach out to me at Coach MJ Sullivan because I would love to talk football with you.